internationalization and collaboration across the world. If you look at the flow of traffic, student traffic, from one direction to the other, um, the traffic has not been as even as one would have uh, expected. Um, we have many, many more of our students and colleague lecturers and so on and so forth um, moving in the direction of Europe and America uh, much more than you have moving in the other way, moving the opposite direction. Um, I, would, I would say that maybe for, for every, uh, every 20 or so students that go to Europe or in America, you have maybe one or two uh, coming to Ghana or Nigeria or for that matter, any African country. We are not at all surprised about this, considering the, the perception um, of education within Africa, uh, something we admit ourselves partly, and we have partly contributed to that, and something we are also very avidly uh, fixing. We are aware that whereas we have a substantial number of Ghanaians uh, going to Europe and America for their PhD, for their masters and their statistics are all over the place at the National and the Scholarship Secretariat at the National Council for Tertiary Education. In Ghana from Europe and America it's almost zero. And I'm talking about those seeking to come here to do say a master's program from America and are not uh, a short-term master's. We have a number of international projects, you know, within Africa here, within, uh, within Ghana here. And we have a number of international students all over, um, particularly uh, University of Ghana, that has about 4%, or that used to have about 4% of their, of their student body being international students. Um, a close study and analysis of uh, the students that come here um, reveals, of course, that uh, many are here on short-term basis, um, three, four months uh, research programs or in fulfillment of various memoranda of understanding that require exchange of visits. Some even go to the extent of using Ghana just as a site. Um, as a class site. Some move their entire courses to, to Ghana here or other African countries for three weeks or four weeks, uh, giving credit for that. Peculiarly, what else quite a number of um, exchanges um, involve coming to locate your class here in Ghana and getting both Ghanaian lecturers and professors to be part of the teaching process. Some go to the other extreme that you don't even want to hear, where they even bring all their professors down from America to Ghana here, not using a single faculty or lecturer or professor from Ghana here to teach their students. That is rather worrying to many of us. 